Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. My fellow sentient life forms. Finished, or we just got off of the people mover. And we're really trying to minimize the walking and going from one far place to another. So we got another DAS pass for um, Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor since it's right nearby. And it's a cute show and we haven't done it in a while. So figured we might as well do this one. He wants to take all of them. They're sending their jokes. I gotta go. <laughs> she really wants to send it. Call me sentimental, but. It's so cute in here. Hey guys, so it's me again. We have done a few rides. The People Mover, we did um, the Laugh Floor. We did Space Mountain. Um, right now we just had like a, another little quick dinner snack at Sleepy Hollow. I'll insert pictures here, but we got the corn dogs and then <clears throat> Allegedly, we were all going to go to the resort and take a little break before we return to the park because they closed late today and before the, the the fireworks party. But it didn't make sense for me. It's like 4.38 right now and we have to be back by 7. Taking into consideration transportation and time to rest and the, having to come back, it, it wouldn't have been worth it for me. So I'm like, I'm just going to stay here, chill, relax a little bit. And then... Um, I'm going to probably see if I can get some rides in uh, as a solo. Um, so let me see. I'm going to check my touring plans and see what it says. It's been having issues though because it hasn't been updating like the time. It just keeps telling me like old time, like 2 o'clock. It like seems to be stuck on that. So I'm going to see. I'm restarting my phone to see if it's that. And then I'm going to see if the app needs to be updated. And then I'll check back in a little bit to see what I end up doing. I somehow lost my footage of the video clips, but basically I just went and did stand by for Splash Mountain. Really wanted to get it done before they did the retheming. So I am about to board uh, Splash Mountain. I still have a few minutes left. Hopefully not too, too long because girlfriend is tired. I've been waiting in this line for about 50 minutes, almost an hour. Uh, sorry, it's really loud, so I'll probably overlay something here, but we're getting closer. So I'm about to get my phone ready to mark down on my touring plans to stop it and see what the total wait time was. Finally on, it was a total of about 56 minutes. So the difference was only about 12 minutes or so from the estimated wait time, which is not that bad actually. So let's get to it. When you people get on the ride because they don't know what to expect and it's so exciting. Oh, I'm gonna do my best and greet pretty good show. 
this side is because I wanted to protect my camera, my other camera, but I'm regretting it now because it seems like we're going to be stuck here for a while. Okay guys, so I just arrived here at the Tomorrowland Terrace to check in. It is about 6.40ish or so and they've already started even though officially it doesn't start to 7.15. They have already passed by. There's somebody with a clipboard and they're like looking up the main person that made the reservation and they're wristbanding. So this is the wristband I got. Hopefully this means that I'm able to have drinkity drinks, the adult kind. Um, but let me just turn you around a little bit so you guys can see what to expect and where it is so you see this is where the stitch purple wall is right over here that is the entrance to Tomorrowland if you go see that's the walkway right over there and then those um, Tomorrowland rocks you know what I'm talking about like the silver like recently colored rocks right over there I hope you could see them the ones right over there that's where you come in towards and there's gonna be like a little podium where people can check in uh, there's people there greeting you and then somebody comes and like they're checking the list and that's when they start giving you the wristbands and she said that about 6 45 ish that's when they're gonna start letting people in or so so we'll see I'm so excited I hope the girls hurry up and arrive here on time because I told them they needed to be here on time but still as long as I get a good seating that's all I need I have been seated and we got this seat I love it right here it has little votive candles of course they're not real but it's beautiful they put a little reserved I'm gonna go show you where everything is at but that is the view of the castle that is amazing I'll go and show you a little bit around I'm gonna start because I'm not gonna wait for these girls <laughs> My girls are not here. I'm going to start without them. Hi! Very good and excited. Good, I'm glad. What do you have here? So I have Chardonnay, Red Blend, Moscato, Cava, Bud Light, Blueberry. What do I pick? Oh. So the Moscato is going to pair the nicest with the desserts, and the Cava is the most popular. Can I take two? Absolutely. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
but I got my drinkity drinks. I got this one, I, the cub. I honestly don't remember the name, but this is delicious. It's sparkling, it's not too dry. So I'm loving that one. And then there's this one over here that's gonna pair great with the dessert, but I'm just gonna put it right there. Oh my gosh, something's happening. Oh, this is an amazing view. I love it. I'm so excited. I came into the line because I'm not going to be waiting for these children. If they decide to be late, ah, I'm going to start the party early. So I went and I got to um, the crepes. They have crepes there and I got one. Um, you can't really see it because it's a little bit dark. But I'm in line to get a little bit more stuff to get the party started. I'm so excited. I love our view though. It is amazing. I can show you here is how they have um, a little table here where you grab your plates and they have silverware there as silverware there as well. And then you move on to the table over there. It's like a buffet style. You just pick and choose whatever uh, sweets you're gonna wanna get. Hanging a little low. I'm gonna have you hanging a little low. Hopefully you guys can see at least a little bit. several over there. There's a Tres Leches, there's Devil's Chocolate Pudding, there's a Cookies and Cream. So this is what I have so far. I grabbed quite a bit uh, to get started, but I just don't like to keep going back and forth. But I'll show you in more detail what it is that I got. And I really hope that you guys can see what it is that I got. Let me try to show you. This is how it looks like. It's a little bit dark and a little bit hard to see. There you go. This is the uh, crepe. These are so many things, but you guys, I hope you were able to see. But anyways, this is what the plate looks like. So the crepe is a little bit too tart for my liking. Too tart and too sweet at the same time. It's hard to explain. The Tres Leches cupcake is phenomenal. And the the chocolate dipped strawberries are also great because of the sweetness of the strawberry and it's dark chocolate so it is amazing yes, thank you. but i'm really enjoying this one right here which is a tres leches finally arrived she was taking forever but i'm glad she because what are we celebrating her graduation yeah, yeah her graduation and all of her successes and russell is somewhere down here hopefully he'll be fine he's in the middle of some um <laughs> some calming powder treatment but I uh, I went again to get another uh, couple, couple, couple cups of my drinkity drinks and then a little bit more of dessert which looks delicious and again that is the castle view <laughs> more the cheeses the bread and then the dark uh, chocolate covered strawberries but i'm so excited for this oh there you go oh wait, wait let me take a picture okay it's a nice okay so we just got out of the fireworks dessert party and let me just say, first of all, amazing, beautiful to experience the fireworks this way, to be able to sit and enjoy with some desserts, some adult beverages. <laughs> and they were good beverages also, uh, and of course, unlimited. So I think it's honestly very well worth the price for the dessert party because unlimited desserts, unlimited adult drinks, unlimited like uh, non-alcoholic drinks as well and so it, it's very good and the view the view is amazing and what better than to not have to sit in the middle of the crowd or stand in the middle of the, all the crowds but to enjoy and and to nicely have a time uh, with your family relax and i think this is a very nice way to kind of pre-wrap our trip we still have a couple days but this is our last magic kingdom day and i think that this was a very good way to do it i really recommend the treats and seats um i think it's well worth it especially if 
if you know how to get your money's worth out of it and I'm sure we did both in desserts and in drinks um, so I think we're gonna continue here in the park for a little bit maybe do some shopping do some rides and then we're gonna go back to the resort today they close at around 11 so we're gonna try to make the maximum since tomorrow is a rest day slash we only have like a, um, a reservation at California Grill so we're gonna take the most out of today um, I don't know where they are though I had to go to the restroom and then I came out and I don't know where they are this is where I am I am in the restroom in Tomorrowland um, right near right near the um, Astro Orbiter over there and then this shop over here which I should probably look at my phone because that's probably where they they are gonna tell me where they are so let me do that and then I'll check in back later maybe when we go for the end of the night so just came out of Space Mountain it's somewhere over there somewhere over there <laughs> the point is we just did it I don't know if that was the best decision of my life or the worst decision of my life um, I went in the back this time it feels a little more intense I'm gonna stop this because the annoying little cars in the background are way too loud so up next we have planned um, pirates that's where we're gonna go and then hopefully we get to do Big Thunder. And right now, can I see the time? Yeah. It's 1021, so I'm not sure realistically we'll be able to because the park closes at 11. Um, so we'll see. We can get the standby line. All good things come to an end. And this is the end of our <laughs> Magic Kingdom days. I honestly... I feel like Magic Kingdom is my park in many ways um, and this is me saying goodbye even though this is not our last park day, our last actual park day is a couple days away um, but we no longer have any planned Disney um, days here at Magic Kingdom and it breaks my heart and this is my way of saying goodbye and not goodbye rather till next time and the same i say to you guys till next time keep disney dreaming and i hope to see you soon on the next disney adventure even though i'm getting so nostalgic and sad but our day is not over because we still got hollywood studios and a rest day so um but here we are love this place this is like my happy place my childhood that I never had and I just feel so happy being here and I'm really gonna miss it and I can't wait till next time <laughs>